Hello and welcome to a new session of Watch and Learn training series on Event Tracker 9. Today, we will take a look at the Home Dashboard. Event Tracker homepage has been redesigned to be responsive. It now occupies the full screen, no matter what the size of the screen, be it a 10-inch tablet or a 65-inch television. The menu items have now been hidden in order to allow the screen to have maximum available space. The menu items can be pinned or dismissed as per requirement. The user can find the logo here and the admin menu items at the top right corner. The profile can now be personalized by inserting your own photo and then the user also has the title and the breadcrumbs for easier navigation. Event Tracker users will now have a set of tiles known as the FAQ tiles. These are live tiles which provide a quick view and keep refreshing at a predefined interval. They are also clickable and can be configured. Below the FAQ tiles are various dashlets. The attacker's dashlet shows the attacks from outside the organization in a map-based view. Then there is the news dashlet which includes information about product updates, new knowledge packs released and published newsletters. The trend of incidents is shown graphically in the incidents dashlet. The unknown threats and processes running are displayed in the form of a graph in the unknown process dashlet. There is also the targets dashlet with the targets of those attacks displayed in the form of a table. The dormant malware dashlet displays the malware which has not yet run and is in a dormant mode waiting for a chance to run. The systems that are not reporting are listed in the non-reporting systems dashlet, sorted by asset value, system name and group name. You also have the casebook dashlet which displays the cases added. In case you are new to event tracker, casebook is an electronic book in which users can add entries from incidents, reports, etc and prepare notes directly. The log volume dashlet displays the trend of logs from various ports. The user can rearrange the dashlets as per requirement and can even click any of the interesting graphs for more information on the same. This concludes a brief overview of the home dashboard in Event Tracker 9. Thank you.